Hey guys, you're live, live on the Archie Luxury live streaming channel. And today is Tuesday. Uh, and uh, I got to tell you the truth, guys. I'm feeling a little bit flat, I'm feeling a little bit exhausted, mentally exhausted. I am, uh, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I've just, my, if you haven't heard the news, um, <laughs> if you haven't heard the news, my court case, this is the, the, the long court case is finally over. The charge was dismissed. Basically, my my court case. The charge was dismissed. Um, so what that means is my matters before the magistrates' court. So you have a magistrate. Um, the charge was dismissed by the magistrate because the prosecution did not. Um, they did not present evidence. Okay, so it's 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 actually quite a complicated thing, and I don't really want to get into the logistics of the court case because I'm not a legal eagle, and I was nervous and panicky, and you know, oh, it's a very trying thing. But the the news is the matter, the matter itself. The news is the matter is over it's over okay the matter is over which is um that is that is brilliant that is very very good indeed there um the prosecution offered no evidence against me so the matter is over now tan the man how are what? you tan what's going on Hey man, I'm a free man. I'm a free man. I'm a free man. Uh, I'm very look. I gotta be completely honest with you, Tan. Um, I, I'm completely worn out mentally. I'm fucked mentally. I'm fucked. It's like I've just come back from a war zone: Afghanistan, Iraq. I'm fucking suffering PTSD. Okay. Now, a lot of a lot of people obviously didn't know what you've been going through for, you know, the past long is almost a year now, right? Like it's, it's yes. been, you know, yes, like, it's been, kind of, you kind of talk about it a little bit, but you, I don't think you really kind of give the extent of like how much this has affected you, you know, personally and whatnot. You yes. Know, your family and everything else. Right. So. Yes. Look, it's, it's, it's affected. It's very, like, it's very, very hard. These are very, very, this is a very, very, uh, it's not a, it's a, when you say serious, it's not serious. Like it's not like armed robbery or things like that. But it's a, it's a cry. government. Big Brother is getting angry. See, in 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 my country here, we we you don't necessarily have the Fifth Amendment. They can interview you, and um, they can uh, they can interview you. They can do a coercive interview where they prompt you and prod you and poke you with large sharp sticks. Uh, I'm joking about the sticks, guys. Uh, but they, they, they look, it's, it's it's very, very difficult situation. So I, I had troubles because I couldn't yeah. talk about it too much because you don't want to upset. Did we get this too, sorry, did we get the super chats? There's been a couple here since I joined. Shit. We got two bucks here. We got two bucks here from Dan T. Congrats, Arch. Over the moon for you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, over the moon. I should really wear the moon watch then, shouldn't you I, today? You should. You should. What, what do you reckon? I'm that's 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 actually that's actually damn good advice there. You got two bucks um, here from Blue Shirt Buddha. Congrats, Archie. So happy for you. Um, and the next super chat you're gonna have to read for the group. Oh, five dollars. Did you have to sell the world time for Clive's defense advice? I gotta be honest with you. No, I didn't. I didn't. I, I gotta be honest with you. Now I can reveal something to the audience there. Um, I, I, I gotta tell you there, um, I actually, the barrister, okay. So you, in, in Australia and America, you got lawyers in, in my country, you have solicitors. 
then above a solicitor, you have a thing called a barrister. This is the English. This is going back to the English court days. Now, a barrister will wear one of those those funny white wigs, right? Uh, now, above a barrister, you have a thing called a Queen's a QC, a Queen's Council. Uh, so, so, so my guy is a barrister, and uh, he's he's actually a, a top 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 barrister and guess what i can now make this disclosure he's an archie luxury fan okay very good very good he actually did it pro bono okay well we can we can, we can give him the credit that he super chatted he super chatted his services well he's he's a bit more than super chatted i mean not to make a i reckon that'd be 30 40 thousand australian dollars for that case Jesus. And I mean, what, what you need is you have a barrister because when the prosecution stuffs something up, you run with it. So, so um, I got to be honest with you. The reason it's dismissed is down to his brilliance, not anything I've really done. And now, for, those um, that, for those that haven't seen, I, I think you released. Um, yeah, I, I, I think you, if you, you want to you know about the case. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to set my my moon watch. I'm setting the moon watch because I'm over the moon that this thing is over. Like, that's that's actually very very good advice. So that's my 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 speedy. Uh, the, the irony is, I, I actually bought a moon watch today as well. Are you joking? What sort of moon watch? Uh, the new one, the the one with the big suit. You know, the the one with the big suitcase uh, box. Oh, and, uh, how much did you pay for that? Uh the conversion here it would be about four thousand Canadian, so mid threes i would say <laughs> that's pretty good buying yeah. yeah yeah yeah. that's amazing buying box and papers oh yeah full site including the uh the warranty card and everything and it's on a bracelet on a bracelet so it's about, actually it's about three thousand us i gotta tell you something that's a fucking bargain that's a fucking bargain you stole that how did you steal that I had a buddy who was uh, who was selling one, and um, you know, it was he just got a brand new. I guess he didn't like it, and then that was Ooh, like, I don't want to be rude to you. Like I love you, you know, and I don't want to be rude, but isn't that really taking advantage of a buddy? I'm sorry, Clark. Sorry, 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 sorry. Not Tan. Sorry, Tan. Is that wrong of me to say that? I mean, no, because because he's the one who posted it, right? He said, "Hey, I I bought it. I wasn't really wearing it that much." And um, yeah, so oh, he okay. It for so yeah, so I said, "Why uh, not?" I said, "Sure, I'll buy it from you." <laughs> Okay, I gotta tell now, you what, that's a fucking amazing watch, don't you think? Until we get a 5170 each, that is an amazing watch, don't you agree? I agree. You got a bunch of people saying, you know, congratulations. Uh, uh Uwe's, Uwe's here tonight. This win deserves a celebratory gay time ice cream, he says. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of people, so we posted a lot of this on uh Facebook this morning. Once obviously the news came out, you had sent the news yes. article, it was all over Facebook, We've done a lot of congratulatory stuff, whether it was on the FIST Facebook group or yes. Prison Watch forums or yes. Horology Talk, et cetera. So all over to the internet. Just, just out of yeah. interest, do you want to know what a top barrister wears? What does he wear? Okay, so he's a true Archie Luxury fan, okay? This guy, he's even got an Archie Luxury T-shirt. Okay. Well, he's one of the super fans. Super fans. Now, he actually wears, okay, he's got a Polar Explorer 2. One of the last of the 40 mils. Yeah. Okay. Um, just, 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 just going to grab this quickly. Hey, I'm doing a live show at the moment. They're trying to raise some money, but, but quickly, quickly. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Okay, I can do that. Yes. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Was was and what did he and what did he say? He's happy to see me. Oh. Okay. Hey, I gotta go, but that sounds. I. I, 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 I bye. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Look, I gotta tell you the truth there. So the barrister himself, he's a really fucking cool. He's only a young guy, mid thirties. 
Okay. Yes, 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 yes. He he used to have a Maserati, but it wasn't fast enough. That's what he ended up getting. An Aprilla motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that as an idea? Yeah, it's actually pretty cool, man. It's as long as you of... don't die. As long as you don't die. Remember that you you uh, motorcycles got to be very careful. Very, very, very careful. Very careful. So you used to talk about you know certain watches are ideal when facing trial against embezzlement. Okay, okay. So let me tell you what he wears. So he's got the the Polar Explorer two forty mil. Right. He's then got a black dial two tone Daytona with Rolex movement in it. Right. When I met him to sort of pay my fee, I used a very expensive favor up. What was that favor? I had a very connected person who said to me, if it helps, Arch, I can get you any Rolex you want. So what was the, uh, what was the, what was the piece in question? So I said to my barrister, I said, what do you want? You have to pay for it, of course, but I can get you anything you want. It was a 2018 Basel World release he wanted. Of course, I mean, if you can get anything you want, you want something from Basel World, don't you? Of course, uh, he, you know, he's got good taste if he wants a thirty-nine millimeter or, or, or super petrol. No, 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 no. Let's back the truck up. He ended up getting a root beer two-tone GMT. It's a good watch. It's a good watch. I, uh, I mean, he I've got the. I've heard in mm. Australia you guys got a pretty big uh, wait list for those. Uh, yeah, I think he got the first one. Okay, <laughs> let's just say he chose well, and. Yeah. It's, it's an amazing watch. The watch is it's just – I actually featured it on my channel. Congrats, James Brown, two pounds. Thank you so much. And then he also bought – obviously, it's not from my fees because he's pro bono for me, right? But I actually went with him into a, a – I'm not going to name the AD. We're not going to say too much about it. But he got a fucking, fucking killer – what is a – successful barrister where he said he needed something with a bit of punch in it right yeah, I mean, yellow gold yeah. yellow gold solid yellow gold you know what he got don't you of course uh sky dweller Okie dokie. Here we go. He has two five dollar super chat from Tanzil. What is the ideal watch to wear when facing trial at the CCC? And you're not a you're not a mob boss. Let me say, I tell you what I did wear to the C. Uh, now, now that the trial's over, I can actually confess. The one thing I can tell you, I can't really discuss what what was said in the in the the star chamber. It's actually a star chamber. Okay, that's where they they hold you down to the floor. Right. They they release they release. The ants, the biting ants, the pointy sticks they have, and also the fi the coals of fire. Okay, if you want to go to the toilet, there's a they've got a hot pit with 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 coals in it. I actually wore the IWC, the Inji, that gave me confidence. Okay, so, so that is the ideal watch because you always talk about these watches to wear when you're facing child okay. for embezzlement and stuff like. Well, that. no, no, this was a no, no. Listen to me. This is a star chamber hearing. So I wanted something that was anti-magnetic to stop their bugging devices affecting the time. I wanted something that was under the radar that only a watch enthusiast, a weiss, would know. IWC, hey, who's who the fuck's heard of IWC? I wanted Gerald Gentra design, big and bulky. I wanted something in, of impeccable taste. So that's why I went with the Inji. Because I was looking yeah. down at it to comfort me in my hours of need. When I was same. actually at court yesterday, guess what I wore? When you're at court, I think you wore the reverse. Actually, you know, you know already. I actually wore the Zenith. I sent you the photo. Oh, yeah, the Zenith. The Zenith. I wore the Zenith because. I wanted you to wanted be. The, you wanted to have an open heart, right? So I wanted. Well, obviously, the, the 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 prosecution doesn't have a heart, but I had an open heart. See, and I was going to be the first, the El Primero, the first. 
the first non-mob boss to face uh, the CCC. Well, no, to be had charges pinned. But anyhow, look, the thing is this. i got to tell you the truth there. I'm fucking mentally drained. I came back. I had a few media. I had the, the, the obviously you heard the radio interview. I've had other media did, come, yeah. come to me and that. That was, that, was, that was a sensational interview too. For those who haven't seen it, watch yes. it on. I think you've uploaded it to your channels. That's it. Every it's channel a has it. It's, it's, Archie it's Luxury, yeah. Paul Pluta, Archie Luxury live streaming, and uh, Archie Luxury Corporate. All of them have got it. They've all got the the video uploaded. Um, well, I just spoke from my heart. Don't whistle blow. If you're if you're listening, don't whistle blow. I've learnt my lesson, and uh, they, they'll come after you. Don't don't whistle blow. I'm, I, I was hoping to discuss this with the doc, but um, don't 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 do it. Don't do it. Really, don't do it. Don't do it. Big brother is not your friend. Okay. It's interesting in that radio interview. The guy's saying to me, "Oh." You did. Hi, Hi, hey, Hisham, how oh, are you, my God. friend? I'm good. Congratulations. Hey, thank you, thank you so much. There, really, really happy for you. Yes, no, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon. That's why I'm wearing the man on the moon because I'm over the moon. I, I got to tell imagine. you, but the truth is, guys, don't do whistleblowing. Keep your mouth shut. Put your head in the sand. You didn't see nothing. Okay. Yeah. Government's yeah. not your friend. They never been yeah. your friend. They'll come after you. Do you really want to? I mean, the radio interview. The guy says to me, "Oh, you didn't really win. Are you disappointed it didn't go first?" I said, "Fuck me, Dad." I mean, I mean, I mean. Could you imagine if this turned really nasty? I mean, you know. I mean, fuck this. This thing eats your soul out. It eats your soul out. Yeah, and um, this is going on for a year, right? Oh, fuck, it's going on and you can't discuss it because you don't want to prejudice anything. You don't want to hurt your case. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. And i got to tell you the truth. I, I will can make a confession now, okay? I've, I've suffered the CCC diet. When I was called to the Star Chamber, I lost about five kilos in a three-day period, okay? Wow, yeah. And then when I faced trial... Yeah. I've been comfort eating. I've been comfort eating. Like I, I fucking put on weight, guys. I'm a, I fucking put weight on. The last six months, I've, I've been, I've been addicted to chocolates and sugars. Five dollar super chat. If I saw a well-known YouTube ranch paying over retail for a new Cellini, should I whistle blow and tell the world Cellini Gate is incoming? I got to tell you, he, he did. Look, I, I just decided, look, look, I got nothing. I got to be honest with you. I've just decided I don't want a certain rancher in my life. Doesn't mean he's really done anything wrong to me. He, he does. He, well, he kind of has pissed me off. Okay? <laughs> but I mean, I got to be honest with you. I just decided, you know, sometimes in life you just cut people out. Do, do you know what I mean or not? Oh, yeah. Is that rude? I mean, I just, I'm 46 I was, I, years old. I, I whistleblow on the rancher all the time, right? I don't put my head in the sand when it comes to the rancher. So if I see something that's not right, it's going all over the internet. So Yeah, no, 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 no. That's, that's very, very good there, man. I got to be honest with you. I'm fucking drained. I'm exhausted. I'm fucked. Money-wise, fuck, I'm, 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 things aren't that good. I got to get my paid reviews uh, look, I, I am starting to get on top of it, but I've let it. I've just had a lot of really bad pressure. I've got to fucking knuckle down and get them out. I've just so been. I was gonna. I was gonna ask that question. I was gonna say, is yeah. it gonna be like? Are you gonna maybe take some time? You know, look, I'm gonna take a couple of days just to to regroup a bit. But I want to. I want to. I want to actually start working really hard, and I'm gonna change a few things. I'm gonna actually. No, this, this could have a really positive impact. Well, I got to yeah. tell you something, guys. I got something, an announcement to make. Woody in New Yorker, four ninety nine. AC, we commend you for your brave trust with the Aussie government. We hereby offer you asylum in the US. Congratulations are in order. You're a free man. Thank you, thank you so much. There, I got to tell you guys. I fucking put weight on, man. I've been fucking me dead. I'm, I've just. What's like, the uh, what's the what's the big announcement? I'm rebooting the weight loss program. Oh my god! Okay, I don't fit into my suits. I don't fit into my suits. 
despite I fucking put weight on, I've been comfort eating, comfort eating, and I, I, I got to do something. I got, I got less, eat less, exercise more. It's it's simple. It's it's, it's a mathematics thing. You want to lose weight, you know, when you're under stress, people either eat more or they stop eating. Yes, yes, and I've 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 fucking eaten like a. I just addicted to sugar. I gotta tell you the truth. I'm addicted to fucking sugar. I, I like candy bars. I like um, chocolate. I love ice cream. Anything that's fatty or oily, I fucking am in love with. And I had Scotty hasn't helped me either. Scotty Tanzil, two dollar super chat. How much to see you do an air push ups? Air push ups. Air push ups. Air push ups. I gotta tell you, I'm gonna reboot the weight loss, and I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I gotta, I gotta lose weight, man. I'm fucking forty six years old. I gotta be honest with you. Can I, I, can I tell you something seriously? Okay, from the bottom of the heart. Okay. Yeah. I've been doing a little bit of dating. The women oh, who, great. the women who, no, no, it's not good. The women who would actually go out with me. I'm using photos that are ten years old, right? And then you show up. And yeah. Like to be Hey, are you the same guy? Yeah, they what the away? fuck? What the did fuck? They, they say, I had one woman said, what the fuck have you been eating? What the fuck have you been eating? That's what she said to me. What the fuck have you been eating? That bad, huh? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. Now, you, can, I mean, you can just change the, the Asian dating sites where they, they look at them and they say, well, okay, how much money do you have? How much money do you have? No, well, I don't, like, look, I'm, I'm a low, 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 low middle class. Lower middle lower class, middle, yeah. yeah. I think the, the, oh. the reporter even referred to you as lower middle class, overweight white man. Yeah, that's so, right. That's exactly I thought that, right. I thought that was funny. <laughs> that's good. No, it's, um, I don't know what to say. It's, well, uh, like I said, a lot of the people on the, uh, on the watch forums and, and everywhere else were uh, very happy to hear the news. Um, you know, as it broke, in multiple different ways and stuff, but um, you know, I think a lot of people here in the chat are, to, are saying deep that, fried uh, lettuce. Happy. What the fuck is that? Have you tried deep fried lettuce? We'll make sure no, you have someone. Well, what is night. that? Friday night, we'll get them some deep fried lettuce. Um, I gotta tell you, in all honesty, their salads are. Do you like salads, guys? Uh, yeah, I do, obviously. <sighs> yeah. I gotta fucking change the whole eating process. I fucking put so much on. Mentally, I'm. I think also mentally, I'm not doing any exercise. I just wake up, roll out of bed, go into the studio, drive the kids to school. Uh, here we go, Finchy. Walk and talk videos in the park. Ten k every day. Thank you, Finchy. I get bitten by bugs. I started going to the park and these bugs started fucking attacking my legs. $5 super chat, Tanzil. Archie, it's Canadian Thanksgiving and Columbus Day in the US. What would you recommend for a solid Thanksgiving dinner for the punters? Chef Archie, I could recommend turkey. That's what I would be having, man, turkey. You guys do that turkey with the, with the, the roasted vegetables. So what potatoes, are Aussies do? You guys must have potatoes with stuffing. Yes. And, uh, what, 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 what do the Aussies do? Like, you know, you guys must have a Thanksgiving. No, no, we we sort of don't. No, no, we don't. We don't. We have Christmas, New Year's, Easter. We don't really. We have an Australia Day, but that's kind of that's not really in vogue anymore because of the native. Um, indigenous population gets a bit upset. Uh, Thanksgiving. The Thanksgiving. Aborigine. See, see, we were fucking convict stock sent out from the motherland, okay? Let me explain this to you. There's nothing to be fucking thankful for, okay? <laughs> okay. Lewis Toledo, $5. Art, ceramic, ceramic, white dial Daytona or paddock, 5127. Ooh, I'd say 5127 any day of the week. What do you I reckon, agree. Tan? I agree. I mean, look, they're, they're two very different watches. You could probably get the white dial Daytona for a little bit. That would be more expensive than the paddock. Okay. Yeah. What do you reckon? It is. It is more. It depends if he's buying it new. But um, it is It is quite 
on the secondary market. I think the, the Pandas are about a shade over 20K right now. So, I, but I would say, look, the 5 1, the two different watches, but if it was me, you gave me a choice 5 1 2 7, 5 1 2 7. That's a fucking beautiful watch. Yeah. And I mean, Lewis, you've got, big, you either yeah, get the paddock difference. thing or you don't get the paddock thing. You know, it's up to you got to decide what is it? What is it? So, um, Hasham, thank you for your kind messages no, there. Know. You're a cool guy, man. You wake up at fucking three in the morning to do the shows. Yeah, actually, I was just going to go to bed. Then uh, I saw your uh, email and I, I just came on. Oh, man. Fuck. That's so cool, man. You're, you're a cool guy. Uh, if you need to go, you just go, man. I'm fucking, you got to sleep, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got to sleep. I think, I think I'll, I'll just uh, go to bed for an hour or two and maybe wake up for work then. Okay, because I don't want to get you in trouble with your, 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 your you know, yeah, it's my just, granddad. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. not cool, man. I don't want to fucking get you in the trouble. Um, yeah, I'm, I just want to say I'm, I'm really happy for you. I mean, yes, it's great news and, and all the best, Paul. I mean, hey, I, man, I'll that catch, means a I'll lot to me. Thing. Thank you so much, man. Man, thank you so much, man. You're, you're cool guy, cool guy. Thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I, I, I gotta yeah. tell you, in all honesty, man. I think I've learned don't don't whistle blow. Please look at that video. Don't whistle blow. Don't rock the boat. Just fucking enjoy your watches. Don't fucking don't fucking get involved in shit. Don't, 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 don't just I, I thought it was kinda cool to, to be sticking my neck out and that I was a fucking idiot, okay? Don't do it. Just don't do it, man. It's not it's just <laughs> nothing financial. I just thought it'd give me a bit of kudos, you know, make me it's fucking stupid. Stupid, mate. Um but now you're back. You're back talking watches. You're back on the weight loss program. Yeah, you're I got to fuck it, man. It's coming back man, with vengeance. It's just fucked. But I'm, I'm complete. I got to tell you the truth. My financial situation at the moment. I tell you, can I tell you how embarrassing it was yesterday? So I won. So so sorry. I didn't. I was dismissed. I didn't win. It was dismissed. Yeah. Dismissed. dismissed. Right, okay, which right, is, right. is is. I think it's a win in my life because fuck me dead. The horror story is over. Okay, let's just say that. Right. Okay, it's a win for me. Okay. Yes. The barrister, I said, oh, do you, I can give you a lift home if you like. I didn't have enough money to pay for the parking. Yeah. I had $30 in my account. It was 35 Should have done a live stream from the, uh, from the courthouse. I said, I said, look, this is really embarrassing. Could you pay for it? And I'll pay you back this afternoon. I went and borrowed it from somewhere else, okay? But that's how fucking desperate I've been, okay? So what's fucking... what's up? What's up next, man? Now, obviously, the news has come out. You've you know you've obviously everything okay. dismissed. What's okay. the plan next? What's the next plan? The next plan is I got to tell you the truth, okay? I've people have said to me, why have you deleted so many videos from the Archie Luxury channel and other channels? Why have you done that? And it's because the analytic in YouTube, they want you to have a Disney channel. Okay. So I've had to change my content a bit. If I've got too many videos that are provocative, you don't rate very high. So I'm, I've got to be honest with you. Um, the reason a lot of the content's gone that way is because the Americans are in charge and they don't pay you any money if, you don't do what they say. So they're saying Disney. We're going to do Disney. So we're going to do fun-loving video. No, I can't do fun-loving because I'm just a miserable, middle-aged, overweight white guy. But i got to try and got to move away from the mongering videos. As much as I loved producing mongering videos, they don't earn any money. Yeah, they earned a lot of views, though. Some of them are some of your most viewed uh, videos, I think you said. But they don't earn any money, and they actually penalize me in the Google searches for having them there. I've had to remove them. Okay. So two pieces of advice there. Don't whistle blow and don't produce mongering videos. Don't whistle blow and don't and well, I've also removed a lot of MG Toe videos because that there also puts you lower in the search. The female demographic doesn't like your videos. So it, it's it's the way it's the way Google works out where to place you. They don't recommend your videos and it just it's it's a very serious. I mean, look, look, look. It, it, it's 
they 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 don't influence you like they say you got free speech in that there but they just don't pay you any money and they actually penalize you, your rest of your videos for having those so i've, I've deleted them delete 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 i probably deleted about three thousand videos at the moment now you considered a uh a mid and, and that's why that's why people. if you looked at my I don't know if you, some of you guys use Social Blade. You would see that I was a D minus. It's because I've deleted probably twenty million views. Okay. So I was saying, have you have you considered a midweek live stream? Because a lot of people are saying that slot for Watch channels hasn't been yeah. I, 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 I'm, yet. Look, I got to be honest with you. That's a fucking fantastic idea. I'm going to do it. I've just been fucking mental problems. I've had mental problems. The suck um, says, "Good day, Arch. Time for a cigar." Yeah, thank you, Sucker Horn. Um, there's no calories in a cigar either. You know that? You know, I used to smoke. That's why I put weight on. And when I stopped smoking, I fucking ballooned. Well, a couple of lads in the group chat thought you'd be uh, hungover today after all the celebrations yesterday. Ah, I tell you something. You know, I've I've been bit my. I, by the way, I've been looking after my children because my ex-wife has been in Japan. Okay, at a, at, a, at a conference, a medical conference, um, and uh, medical conference because she's married to a doctor. Okay, mm. well, she's not married to him, but he's he's a doctor, and um, it was just an excuse to go. So they, I said, hey, I'd look after the kids. So I, I can't get drunk at the moment because I've got to be responsible. I've got to take care of the kids, which. I gotta be honest with you. I had some Chinese last night. We had Vietnamese. We had a, we had a bit of Chinese. Chinese we had spring rolls. We had a um, we had a duck duck with uh, duck egg noodle soup. It was twenty dollars, thirty dollars. That's fine. That's fine. You got two, you got two pounds. Here two from pounds James from Brown. James Brown. Thank you. So I gotta be honest with you. I I can't actually drink much until uh, they come back on Friday. They come back Friday. So uh, Saturday, I'll have a few drinks Saturday, okay? You've got to be responsible, man. When you've got kids, I've got responsibilities. I can't just, can't just fucking think of myself. It's not a hedonic. Life is not a hedonistic adventure. You've got to do what's responsible. But uh, i got to tell you myself that I love my watches. I want to get back into watches. I love my watches. And uh, What do you think you're going to get next? Now you're not, I that, think you can focus now on watches. Okay, I tell you. Okay. I've got to, I got to, I got to get my financial shit sorted. I got, I got to do more paid reviews because my financial shit is pretty fucking bad at the moment. Okay, if any of you guys there, if you could send me super, sorry, PayPal, if you could send me a paid review, I desperately need some paid reviews. Please send them in, and I, and I'll get it to it. I am no one loses their paid review. I'm just mentally challenged at the moment, guys. I'm, I'm getting on to it. I want to. I want to work out. I got to pay some money back. I still owe Scotty a little bit of money. Okay. Mm -hmm. I owe him about two US. Okay. I owe him three Aussie. What's that? It's like three Canadian. What's that? Two and a half US. Yeah, it's called two and a half. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I may be stuck with that fucking Hydronaut. I got to pay fifteen fifty Canadian Aussie for it. And anyway, you about? broke the, the, the one watch per brand rule with that watch. Oh, well, I don't really want it. Do you understand? So that, that I got to find a grand. That, that's a, that's just put that as a grand, okay? And then I've sort of made a few payments. I have made a few payments on my. Um, I've made a few payments. Um. Um. Uh. Have made a few payments, but um, I've made a few payments on, on on the GMT Pepsi. Okay, I've made a few payments, but the problem is, um, the problem is that I'm still thirty seven hundred Aussie short. Okay, that's the problem. I'm thirty seven hundred Aussie short. Okay. And did you get the one on the bracelet or are you looking That's at a bracelet one? one. You told me to upgrade to the bracelet That's the one. one. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, said yeah, to yeah. me, because I actually, I actually had, he was holding on to a leather strap one for me. Nah, you want the bracelet. And he said, hey, I can switch it. It's going to cost a couple, I think it's about 500 bucks more. I said, do it. Just mm -hmm. do it. I yeah, said. The bracelet's much better. It's much better. It is better? Oh, yeah. Much better. Okay. So so, I, you're, slightly, you're slightly working towards the GMT. That's good. 
Yeah, so I tell you what else I get after that. I gotta be honest with you. Can I be completely frank and honest with you? Please do. Okay, the Grail shit, you know, like we we're talking about getting a five one nine six or a Lang A one. I think we're gonna put that on the back burner. Okay. Just gonna put it on ice for now. I'm gonna put it on ice. I'm gonna put it on ice. Okay, because, but you know what I want to get next? What are you thinking? Tudor Monte Carlo, blue. Our, our good friend Bear Clooney has one. He loves it. So. It's a big it. watch because I'm building a Tudor. I've got. I'll have a couple of Tudors by then because I'll have the the Black Bay, Black Bay Burgundy. I'll have the the Black Bay GMT Pepsi. I got the horrid Hydronaut if, if it doesn't sell. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what about, what about, um. I'm thinking, what about the Monte Carlo? Yeah, Monte Carlo wouldn't be a bad choice. And then I'll after that, that, I'll tell you what I get after that, right? I would really like to add some sort of I want to get a I want to get a watch for my 50th coming up. Okay. What would you get? What would you get? Do you go for an Explorer One? Do you go for a no date sub? Do you go for a bluesy? I'm fucking confused as shit. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I think the bluesy would be a good choice. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, Explorer 1, I, I haven't seen you really own one in a while, so that could be... Trial's you know, over. Like Rolex Explorer 2, good luck for, with your trial. Trial's over. It, it, was, it was dismissed. There is... The trial's over. Rolex 2? I mean, look There's at that shit. I'm fucking put weight on Look at this. Look at this. What the fuck is this shit? I don't look like how I used to look. What the fuck went wrong? What the fuck went wrong? I don't know what went wrong in my life. <laughs> Fried well, food I'll... tasted so good. You know what I'm craving now is wontons. You got three bucks here from one bag. Three bucks. OP39 OP. or Explorer 139 as my first Rolex. Explorer or... 1, maybe. Explorer oh, wow. one. I mean, look, if you can't if, if you can't stretch to it, I the OP is fine, but don't That's go for right. a fuck. Go for if you're gonna go for an OP thirty nine, get the blue dial. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah, I, the blue dial's fine. I, I would go with the OP the uh, Explorer one Oyster Lock clasp. Um, full oh, Explorer one's is just, better, man. Yeah. Go for the Explorer yeah. one. Would you go for an Air King? I don't really like the New York Kings, to be honest with you. It's no, really like I prefer yeah. the the Milgaus. Yeah, but you you do you do like the contrarian part of it, where if everyone else hates it, you love it. So I wouldn't be surprised if you would be. I mean, I think you, you are willing to pay for uh, a certain other competitor's uh, Air King when it was um, it, w it went through some unfortunate uh, accidents. Uh, last yeah, year, I think it was. I think you were willing to buy one of them. Um, I, I would have actually fixed him up very quickly. You know, this jokes aside, I would have fixed him up very quickly. I had, the money came very quickly. Anyhow, it came quicker. I actually was doing okay then. and um, But that's okay. Look, it's a 34 mil, a little bit small. That's okay. Bear Clooney says the OP39 in white, white and black is best. Now, Bear Clooney did get an OP39 himself. So if anybody knows, it would be the bear. I just got to take this call for one moment. Sure, sure. Hey, just hang on one minute there. Just hang on. Just hang on one minute. All right, guys. We're in the comments here. James Brown, I saw your super chat. I will get to that when the pontiff is back. Um, audio is way low on the other guy. Is it really that low? I'm just on my head. I'm on, I'm just on my uh, my iPhone, so I don't know if it's uh, super low for you guys. If it is, let me know. Domino's Air King for the half centennial. Okay, some people are saying, they, okay, good. Audio is okay. Okay, fuck off, Sultan Photog or whatever the fuck your name is. Um, 
how are you enjoying the speed? I haven't picked it up yet. I'm actually traveling for the next uh, week and a bit, so I will be picking it up when I get back to uh, to the city. Yeah, I'm on the AirPod, so you know it's it's whatever. I'm in the I'm in my condo here in Toronto, so obviously I got the TV playing in the background. So I was like, eh, I'll just use my AirPods today. We'll watch the Archie wear to the Star Chamber Eco uh, Gator. We actually asked that question earlier. He wore the um, well, he wore the IWC, um, but also I think for the trial yesterday he was wearing the Open Heart. Congrats on the speed. Thank you, Blue Shirt Buddha. Um, yeah, so I mean, I've had a couple of speedies. I've had the, uh, was it the 3570, which is the previous model, um, and I have the new one now. Um, yeah, I mean, I've always liked speedies. I've, you know, kept them in the collection on and off, but uh, I'm going to try to keep this one in and, and not actually uh, get rid of it and keep it part of the stable of the collection. So, which would leave me with the Paddock Annual Calendar, the Hulk, the Explorer 1, the Date Just 2, and then now the Speedy. All right, the pontiff, I think, is back. Sorry about that there. That was just uh, just someone hitting me up for more money. But look, i got to tell you the truth there, guys. we got a super chat here for you. Ooh. I waited for you to, to come back. Super, super chat, five super pounds. Chat. Yeah, super five chat. pounds from James, from James Brown. What hot yeah. diver would you recommend to someone with an AP chrono and VC dual time? So he's already got some serious... Uh, oh, there's, only, only, there's only one chrono. Sorry, there's only one diver to get. You know that? Oh, what's that diver? AP diver. I mean, let's face so it. I, I can't diver. stand the blank pane, okay? But you, are you thinking of the AP diver or are you talking about the AP roller? No, offshore? the AP offshore diver, okay? Now, what's the other diver they've got? There's no other diver. Well, they have the regular diver, right? What's that? They have an AP diver. What, not, not an offshore diver? Well, it's – it's okay, so I, I'm saying what I mean by – is you're saying the offshore diver, which is what I mean by the AP diver, and then yeah, like they have yeah. other offshore models. Right? Uh, yeah, but their chronograph can't really be a proper diver, you know. Yeah. Look, I, I, AP offshore diver, I mean, that's a fucking amazing, 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 amazing watch. I mean, let's be honest there, okay? The blank pain just doesn't cut it. Okay, don't I? I know Don says this and that, da, 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 but come on, if you've got an well, AP chrono be... and a VC yeah. dual time, get the fucking AP offshore diver. That's the that's 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 the logical choice. I mean, you, you could go for it. You could go for a Hulk, but I, I'd get a fucking. I mean, if you want to fuck a hot diver, hot diver, Rolex isn't really hot, is it? What do you nah, think? But blanc paint could be considered. I mean, at least Don thinks it's hot. Uh, just because Don Don drinks out of the Kool Aid, he believes that doesn't mean that I'm fucking swallowing. Okay, no, nah, I don't think it's I don't think it's quite up there to be honest with you. Now, some some people are saying I'm gonna get bored of this speed. Now, I've had a couple of speedies. I've had the thirty five seventy. I've had the newest one. Now people are saying that because I like more complicated, sophisticated pieces, that I'll get bored with the speedy. Uh, I mean, you've had a speedy in your collection forever. I mean, what are your thoughts on the speedy? Um, I absolutely, I think, I gotta tell you the truth with the Speedy, okay? I've had the same thing. I had a Speedy that I sold it because they're easy to sell, right? They're, they're, they're right. when I say they're easy to sell, they're relatively bargain in the watch world. There aren't many watch bargains, but a Speedy is, I mean, you are a true Weiss if you have a Speedy. Speedy is for Weisses because it's, it's fucking Helsa like glass, no date, and it's fucking manual wine. Amateur hour, amateurs don't really like that shit. Ooh, it's, oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I got to tell you, honestly, in all honesty, I've always sold them. And I've, I fucking, when, I, when I've sold them and had none, I've always wanted it back. Does, does that make sense? Well, that's kind of how I was feeling with it. I, I you know, I was, long-term goals are obviously to get another, you know, Calatrava or, or you know, similar piece in that range. But I was like, you know, short-term what was I looking for? And then the, the Speedy came up for a decent price. So I was like, you know, why not add it back into the collection, which would put mine at the annual calendar, the Hulk, the Date Just 2, Explorer 1, and now the Speedmaster. I, I reckon myself the fucking Speedy is a fucking amazing watch. You should never sell it. Keep it. Please promise me 
you keep it unless you get a unless you get uh, another chrono. Well, you see, you don't do the Breguet chrono, do you? You couldn't do that, could you? Uh, yeah, I could do like a Type Twenty. Why not? I could do a Type Twenty. I didn't, I didn't have a. I was actually looking for one the other day, but I haven't come across a lot in Canada. I think Jin himself has been on the hunt for one. So if anything dead does come up, he'd probably pick it up before I would, because he's been pretty actively looking. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I has Jin has Jin loves speedies, doesn't he? He's got a Mark Forty. Um, he doesn't have a Moonwatch. Um, I'm trying to think what else. He, I think he just has the Mark Forty. Oh, I got the Mark 40. You know what I really would fucking love? The other watch I'd love to get is a reissue of the Mark 2, the Speedy Mark 2. That's because yeah, that cool. that's also got a column wheel vertical right. clutch movement in it. You know, you know that, don't you? The the new yeah. it used to be the original. I've owned the original the uh Mark 2s. They used to have an 861 movement, which is it's just a beautiful piece. That's probably the golden era, that's that's late 60s Omega. That's when their manual wines were just fucking mm -hmm. amazing, okay? They had just cornered perfection. And what happened was the automatic slaughtered them. That's what happened. Everyone wanted an automatic. The only good automatic was the Zenith because the Hoya Calibre 11, i got to be honest with you, it wasn't the most, how do I put it? It was rushed to market, let's just say that. Well, they had to rush it to market. They're in the competition, right? So, um, Mason One is saying the Speedy Sapphire Sandwich is on his list. What do you think of it? You don't really talk about the Sapphire Sandwich that much um, when it comes to the Moon Watch. I don't. I don't think it's a terrible watch. I don't think it's a terrible watch. Um, Would you always recommend has to like glass manual wines, um, like the original. The original Moon Watch is the the one to get. Look, I tell you what. I other thing I like is I, I got to be honest with you. I do say that, but I got to be completely honest. I think I reckon the bargain now. If I was really had to put a, a finger on it, a pulse on it, you know those broad arrows they had about two thousand year two thousand. Right. I, I reckon that. the broad arrow is a fucking. I, I actually love the hands and I love the steel bezel. Okay, I reckon that could be. It, if I didn't have my speedy that I got, which is the original, I'd act, I reckon a broad arrow I could fucking do. I actually quite like the broad arrow. Now the funny thing is, Amiga, they 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 dump it, then they release it again, and, and I mean, you know, they had the the first Amiga in space, which I quite like. I actually quite like that. The yeah. first Amiga, I reckon that's a great watch, but. I'm a second-hand shopper. I like bargains, okay? I like deals, okay? So I'd probably get the broad arrow. I said to someone, I said, look, so someone said to me, oh, sh what should I get? Um, that they were talking about, what should they get? They were going to get a, um, they wanted to buy that new, what the fuck was it? The 1957, you know, that, that the Basel World yeah, release. Yeah, yeah. And I said, hey, stop. Instead of buying that new, why don't you buy a second-hand one of these? And get a second-hand broad arrow. Would, wouldn't that be a fantastic idea? It would be, but a fantastic idea would be to read the super chat that just came in. So super chat came in here. James Brown five. Oh, sorry, no, not that one there. Sorry. Next one, it's coming in. Did it? Did it? Five dollar super chat from Tanzi Archie. Now that the trial is over and you are raw as fuck, what you truly need to say about Ulysses Narden? Get real fucking nasty. Ulysses Narden, I got to tell you the truth there. That brand is fucking toxic. It's a toxic brand. I've never quite got the Ulysses and Narden. You're, and you're, if, you're Ukrainian. You're almost Russian. The Russians fucking love those watches. They, they do. They also love Brega. You know that, don't you? Highly polished and very glitzy. Well, that's the thing. You're almost Russian, so that's why you like Ulysses Brega, Narden. I don't get it. It's supposed to be a dress watch that's a diver. It's like a, a Brega Marine on conservative steroids. I mean, there's certain brands you've had a change of heart for. I, I just don't foresee this brand as, as being one of them. No, You've been no, burned no, in the no. past. It gave you gonorrhea last time. It I just... Don't... Fucking horrid watch that. Horrid, horrid, horrid. The Ulysses Narden, fucking soft. Nobody wants it. Nobody. 
it's an unsellable. I, I, I think the only thing worse as far as sellability goes would be an eBell. You know, eBell? Yeah. Yeah, yes, yes. yes. It, it, well, what do you think of eBell as a brand? Uh, kind of shit. It's kind of toxic, not my, isn't it? Not my cup of tea at all, man. Uh, how, how would you, well, what's worse? Let me ask you this. What's worse? Okay. Ebel or Borman Mercer? I'd probably say Ebel. Borman Mercer, I mean, they, yeah, their history is okay. I think they've, you know, they've done, they're, they're, they're kind of terminal in the sense that I don't think they really know what to do with their brand. I think yes. They're just, they're just fucked. I and mean, they have some decent watches. I guess the Clifton's not bad. It's just fuck. It just yeah. can't be. You know, you know what I mean? Like they just, they just you know, I gotta make a confession. My brother actually wears a Borman Mercer Classima. He, he's got people that do. He, my brother's got a Classima with the open heart, which I, I hated because I said it's not a fucking tourbillon. And what do I do? I go and buy a fucking Zenith open heart. You know that? Yeah, you're getting a bit of shit for the Zenith open heart, but it is what it is. It's it's a very but, cool watch. I love that watch. I, I really do love it. Uh, tell me this: what what's another brand? Uh, Gerard Perrier. How do you how do you rate that? Uh, they're, I mean, the Bell and Bomb Mercier. They're not bad. Hey, BBW, how are you? Oh my God, Doctor, Doctor, give me the flu. Hey, Doc. Hello, Doc. He's there, but he's not there. He, he, he'll come on when he's can, I suppose. I mean, Gerard Perigo's not bad. I mean, we're still talking about these. Oh, they brands. had some gold plating period. You know that? Uh, I don't think you'd ever have a change of heart with them. Um, yeah, not my not my cup of tea. I mean, it's like, what do you think of Frederic Constant? Like, I mean, that's one of the brands that you'll never you'll never have a change of heart for. Ooh, nasty, 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 nasty. That is just vicious. Frederick Constant. Ooh, do you know anyone who wears one of those? Uh, no, I don't. I remember years ago, I pulled up at a petrol station when I had the Mercedes 230. It wasn't my car, but I, I was just driving it. And this guy had a beautiful E-type Jaguar. And I saw he had this interesting watch on it and it was a frederick constant oh uh. hey bb hey bb i hope he is hello bbw i don't know yeah uh, i don't know i don't know why this guy always has problems logging on i don't know uh what else is happening tell me what else is is new there what else is going on not much man not much jen is traveling i'm traveling um oh, obviously fuck. the news came news came out so i said let's let's get some of the boys on if we can do a quick live yeah stream. quick, you quick, know, it's quick live day. stream it's columbus day it's thanksgiving here in canada so thought there'd be a few people about 100 people watching so it's not bad it's not bad for a monday night yes it's not bad for a Monday night. That's right. All right, <clears> not... are you back? Are you back? I keep trying to log on. Are you back? I have no idea. What... On and off. I don't, know. I don't know what's wrong there. I don't know what's wrong. Uh... I don't get it. BBW is a big fan of the uh, the Moonwatch. He's got a a pretty big um, love for that, as well as the Daytona. Yes, he's he's. I tell you what, he's got the best of both worlds there. It's um, that I mean that that is amazing to have two vintage Daytonas, don't you think? I, yeah, I only saw one of them. I only saw the six two six three. Um, then I get to see the other one. Now Jin was able to see both of them. Because, uh, you know, BBW won't bring out all of them at the same time. He's very cautious with his watches and whatnot. And he's cautious of people dropping them. Um, Jin, Jin has been known to drop watches. So he was a little careful giving it to Jin. Um, <laughs> Tell me this. Do, do you have any – do you miss the 5127? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely – you know, there's definitely a hole in the collection when it comes to that. And I'm actively looking to fill that. And, I mean, I've even been considering now FP Jorn. 
the Chronomet Bleu as being an option as well. Maybe getting on the list for one of those and picking it up when it'll probably ship in 2019, I think this dealer was telling me, if I do get on the list. Fuck. That's, um... If you have a paddock complication, then maybe an FP joint. I guess <clears throat> five, five pounds here from Bugsy Malone. <clears throat> I just beat the rat, big man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got to tell you, it's it's amazing stuff. It's amazing stuff. Um, now, would you recommend or what, what would you think of a Cardamac Blur and FP joint? It's a fucking amazing watch. <laughs> I don't like the metal. It's what, what's it made of? It's made of fucking tantalum, right? Tantalum, tantalum, right? Uh, <laughs> I. Uh, it's a weird metal. You, you, you know, you know what I mean. It's kind of. It's the only watch I believe that they make in that range with that metal. Um, yeah, yeah. And... Look, it's, it's it's actually an amazing watch. Like I actually, I got that photo where I I had my world time and I compared it and. It is amazing. I, I mean, you even, you even apologized to the guy in Singapore. Um, I think you had to think about yeah. it afterwards, and then you, I think you apologized to him. Yeah, it's an amazing realized, watch. It's an amazing you, watch. What was your impressions in person of the watch? Because so, obviously, you might have had a different impression when you first I've saw never, it. I've never, and I must say, I never, I don't like the fonts they use on the dial. You know, that's just me, okay? I don't like the font, okay? But the build quality and workmanship of it is literally amazing. It's mind blowing. It's oh fuck. This is quality. Everything. Yeah, I mean, is when, it, when it comes to the, the, the dials and, and you know, the, the success rate that they have mm. on those dials, it's one of the dials that costs them apparently the most um, in, in most of the ranges, you know, is, is mind boggling on the kind of quality you're getting from that kind of a piece. And as well as the exclusivity of it, right? I mean, you're only, they might produce what, 900 watches a year. Right? I mean, how many, Chronomet Blues are going to be hitting the market every year, right? Mm. Less than 100, less than 100 every year. Well, they, you know, they, they say the uh, the ones that are more collectible are the ones with the, what, what's it, the, 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 the brass movement, isn't it? Is it brass? Yeah. Or it? Yeah. So they used to use the rhodium plated brass movements. Mm. Um, I think that was up until the early 2000s, certain points during the early 2000s. And then they switched to the, um, the rose gold. Um, the rose gold movements. Um, you got five dollars here from Blue Shirt Buddha. All yeah. Right, time to talk JLC pre-owned dress watch around five K Master Control or Reverso. I think they're both very good. It depends what you like. Uh, all I can say is if you do go Reverso, get the Grande size. Don't get the fucking classic or the. Some of them are a little bit small if you if you're a big sort of guy, but I I for me. Well, it depends on the, your structure. If, if you're overweight and big like me, you go for a grande. If you're normal size, as in you didn't pig out for the last 20 years, some of the other ones are pretty good too. But it, it depends on your size. I don't, I don't know what size you are. Master controls are amazing, man. I, I, I love the master control moon phase. It's fucking just amazing quality, man. Amazing, amazing, amazing. 5,000, that's nothing. 5K is absolute... Nothing for you can get a yeah you can get a nine seven six for mm. about five grand and I mean, I, That's what I, mean. I mean that is amazing quality for nothing five grand is not a lot of money in a luxury watch and you're getting such a high level it's a fucking bargain go for it pull the trigger either way you can't go wrong master control or reverso I don't think you can go wrong either way do you no, absolutely not I mean those do you miss your nine seven six. I do. I wanted to get the black dial version, though. Like, you know, if I was to buy another one, I'd probably go black dial as opposed to white dial. Would um, you ever go tribute to 1931? Oh, yeah. I definitely would. The prices are still pretty high, man. Those are holding. Of all the reversals, that's the one that's holding the fucking value, man. Is that How much are they? Value? Secondhand. How much you get? Yeah, they're like, they're up there. I think I was like, looking before and they were like, let me look it up here right now. Tribute to 1930. I haven't looked it up in a while, but it was sevens, I think it was. You know, at the time, so. Jeez, okay. Yeah, they're not. It's American bad. or Canadian. This is American. They yeah. haven't been doing. They haven't been doing too bad. Like, let's see here. What's the last ones that sold? I mean, there's some. They were selling for seventy four hundred. Um, yeah. There's some that are pretty expensive here. But yeah, I mean, I agree with you. The ultra thin piece, like it's, 
you could probably and again the grand gate like you want you have is pretty thick like that's fucking that's not a slouch when it comes to size but the 976 which was in a grand size um wasn't very thick but it wasn't an ultra thin either it was it's i, I quite like the 976 I, I i would easily fucking um I, I i think that's a beautiful watch if i didn't have if I didn't have the grand date, I'd fucking buy a nine seven six. It's a, I think it's kind of the most perfect sort of reversos there. I, I love the, the the triple date, the calendar they've had. Oh, they got so many, so many cool models there. Uh, yeah, tell me this, tell me this, Tan. Um, you got a beautiful collection. I'm, I got to tell you, you've got fucking. I actually look at you and say, "Fuck, you're a happy man." You got a fifty thirty five. You have got the Hulk. Yep. You've got a, um, a nice day just. They just yep. two. That's right. You have got let's go Hulk. Explorer one. Oh, I Explorer one. one. Explorer yep. one. And now, and you now got the Speedy, 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 Speedy. Neo, hello humanity. Great news. I'm sorry, I'm late to the party. No worries at all, Neo. No worries. I gotta tell you, Tan, that's fucking beautiful. Don't you think or not? Yeah, I think the only thing I'm missing is just that, you know, that one piece in the between the complication. You know, kind of that you got the grill and then you got your back. Really Do you strong, think right? you could go for a, tell me this, instead of getting a pad, what about a 976 in, in 18 carat rose gold or something like that? Uh, I'm not really into the gold, the gold reversals, to be honest with you. I like steel annual wine. They are amazing, but if you've held they one. The, they are, I agree, quality wise, but I, I think for what I'm looking for in my collection. BBW. Hello. Okay, we got super chats coming in while the BBW fixes his internet. Okay. Bugsy Malone, five pound super chat. Good to see you relax, big big yin. Uh you look like a man that's just dropped a backpack full of bricks. Make the bluesy happen next to celebrate. Thank you so much. Rich buddy, congratulations, Arch. He goes, I have a five one nine six and a five one six seven. That's a five one nine six is a Calatrava manual wind, and the five one six seven, that's a aquanaut, isn't it? Aquanaut. Yeah, that's an aquanaut. Uh on way, would you sell Batman Hulk Bluesy and sub date to fund a five one four zero? Call it done. Ah, uh, fuck! I mean, fuck! It's a that's a perpetual calendar. So, so a Batman, yeah. a Hulk, a Bluesy, and a sub date. Fuck, those are four beautiful pieces, but would that be enough? Ooh, would you reckon it'd be enough? Ooh, that's a for perpetual. I mean, perpetuals, you're looking for what, like mid 50s pre owned? Maybe would that 50s? bring enough money in? Uh, okay, so what were the pieces? Your Batman, yeah, a Hulk, Batman, a Hulk, yeah. So let's ten, let's call them 10 to 12 each, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, the bluesy, close. yeah, you're close and all that. You probably could, you probably could if you get the right one, fun 5140. Um, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, to be honest I, with you, I, no, I, I, I actually probably would because you got you, you your collection, and your collection is well, think about it, you got a perpetual calendar, you got a Calatrava, and you got an Aquanaut. Right, all yeah. patterns. You you pretty much fit all the bills of everything, you know. Yeah. I mean, I think I kind of would do that. Okay. You reckon you would? Oh yeah, I would for a perpetual calendar. I would. Fuck. Okay. Okay. See, if you were me, you'd also rational. You'd sell off some of these shitters and buy some amazing stuff, wouldn't you? Well. Some of your shitters have uh, held up to the Star Chamber. Um, you've, you've worn them while facing potential trials. So mm. there's a bit of sentimental piece to that, right? So uh, yes. you've got five pounds here from James Brown. It's 3 a.m. I'm drunk. The dog's asleep, and I have work tomorrow. Should I drink okay. the whole bottle of wine I just opened? No. Put it in the fridge. You'll thank me in the morning. Okay. There's a couple of people who wanted to come on. I think I don't know if, if BBW is there. I mean, I can see like a green uh, icon. I yes. don't know if he's here or not. That's that's dark. That's dark. Hello, dark. He's trying. Can you hear me? Okay. 
Oh, oh yeah. Doc, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Congratulations on um, surviving the madness. Yes. Just remember, as soon as the, uh, the the truth is thrown on them, they scramble. Oh, they scramble the Goldbergs here. Scramble for the shade. All the friends go are hide. here. Hey, Gentlemen. Goldberg. I'm, I'm so happy for you. Hey, I've come out. I've come out. I've gone through the dog. I, the dog ate me, and I've come out in the shit. Yes, but you've come out in one piece, like like a like a chunk of corn. Yes, chunk of corn. That's exactly it. Hey, uh, I just want to say to Doc very quickly. Did you see my warning to whistleblowers? I think there's no point, no point lying. Think, you may as well tell the truth, don't you think, Doc? I think people just have to be careful about their whistleblowing. They have to know what they're going up against. Yeah, and I don't think it's worth it. Also Put your head in the sand. Put your head in the sand and forget it. I heard you say that in your interview. Um, yes, and um, yeah, people, of course they're uh, they're trying to stifle freedom of expression. They're trying to stifle mm. criticism of the government. How how can a government improve if its people are afraid to talk? That's exactly it. That's exactly it. I don't want to say the United States is the be all and end all because we have. No, I got to tell you the truth. It's only when this sort of shit happens when you realize, hey, you guys in America, I got to tell you something. I know America is not perfect. I know there's a lot of things that um, you guys are sorry about, but fuck me dead. You don't have secret police interviews. You know, there in some in some. Uh, jurisdictions there are financial rewards paid to whistleblowers for doing what you did by yes. the government they pay them for blowing you know the whistle proud to be an American <laughs> at least I know I'm free I'll, uh, I'll sponsor you if you need somewhere to live if you need new citizenship uh, uh, Doc and myself we got you otherwise you gotta you gotta go to Canada where at least you get uh, a Patek and free health care every citizen gets a Patek and free health care I see. Yes, 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 yes. Rich Buddy, congrat. Oh, this is not. This is this is a uh, a super chat, super chat, super chat. Let's have a look here. Oh, actually, let's have a look. Here we go. Tanzil, super chat. Mark, if the Australian government had sentenced Archie to community service, would you ever lie down would that he, he did shit for free? Would he ever live down that he did he shit, for shit for free? Yeah. Yes. Uh, no, the answer is uh, no. I, yeah. I'm sure he would be on billboards all over Australia saying, "I'm mm. sorry." It would, it, would, it would be brutal. Brutal. That's the. That's right. That's the words there. It's been it's been a hard journey. I got to be honest with you guys. I'm fucking worn out. I'm worn out. I am worn out. Okay. I got to be honest with you. I'm worn out. It's, it was a game of chicken and you survived, you know, they were hoping that you would run away and you didn't Was it expensive? Well, it, look, I gotta be honest with you. I've got a super barrister, right? Who did it pro bono because he's a fan. Okay. How nice Can but, I can, um, can, can I can I make a suggestion? Yes fuckers. It, it broke me. It cost me everything. Please super chat to help with the barrister. But, I mean, it has it has fucked me up because I, I haven't focused on work. Yeah. I haven't. I've had. I've fucking comfort ate. I've fucking put on twenty kilos. I've comfort eaten. Okay, comfort eat. Plus, but also, I've, you you still had to pay the other. You still had to pay the fees and things just because your attorney was taken care of. You still had to pay all the other crap. They know what they're doing. They they know yeah, they, exactly. They well, yeah. I, I, mean, I mean, the first time I went to the Star Chamber, I, I did engage another firm, and that was 4000 This is before that cost you got me. Two, two pounds here from James Brown. Mark, that sold my JLC to Big Barry. I don't know what he means. I mean, I sold my, I sold my JLC to Big Barry. Uh, James, did you sell yours to Big Barry too? I, I'm not sure what you mean. But yes, uh, not, Big Barry. No, no, no. Big Barry is not the cellmate that Archie was potentially going to have. Uh, uh, if, if it if it had gone wrong, you know, all wrong. I see. Well, I sold mine to the to the to the fat gent in Ireland, who's a wonderful guy. Oh, he's fantastic. Yeah, 
Do you you know, sold your, what did you sell to him? I sold my JLC Master Compressor Diving GMT. And, he's, got, um, he's a great guy. Let me, let me tell you, this is how the watch community works. I FedExed him that watch and told him, yeah, pay me when you get a chance. Because uh, I knew he was going to have to jump through a couple of hoops to uh, uh, get to his secret Swiss bank account and uh, you know, make the payment. So I sent the watch off and I said, you know, don't worry about it. But, you know, sometime next week when you get a chance, send me payment. And isn't it nice how the watch community works when you know one another? He sent you payment? Of course. Fucking hell. So Archie, Sucker One says it's a good question, so I'm going to read this one for free. AC3, who was the first person you called to tell you're not guilty? Who was the first person you, you spoke to? Ah, good question. I, I think I told John. I told John. Well, I mean, I, I went through the thing. I had to go and, and go walk back to Chambers with the barrister and that. And... Um, I think I think it would have been probably John. Besides people involved in the case, it would have been John. See, I think John would have already known because I think he had the star witness in Melbourne in the basement getting waterboarded. <laughs> he is a very uh, he is a very anti-centric, loyal man, and uh, I think he kidnapped that guy, darted him uh, with some uh, Thailand joy juice, and uh, prevented him from testifying. Exactly. I just, I just sending a, an email to some. Just, I had a good friend of mine who said to me, he's he, he's he's a really strong Catholic, right? He said, I sent him a press article. I said, now I have to go after all the Catholic, Catholic lies that exist, exist in the church. Zuckerhorn, I see you're there in the comments. So, have you let the star witness go? Did you uh, <laughs> did you remove the mask? Has have you dropped him off at an undisclosed location in his underwear and then hightailed it out of there? Is he okay? <laughs> but I, I think you did this. I think you deserve a lot of accolades for getting getting the Archie man off. So, BBW, how's the chiropractic work been handling you, man? You've been Obviously away for a while. You've been busy with the uh, the patients coming in. Costco hasn't let you off. They've been working 24 hours a day. Like, what's happening? Costco is not a holiday, you know. It's a holiday for the banks, but not for Costco. Yeah, man. Columbus Day, it got you working. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, I'm just happy. I'm happy to hear this uh, this very good news because... Uh, they really do put you through the ringer when you're a whistleblower, and they, and they know that they're going to financially just exhaust you. That's their goal. Now the Grind you Arch, Arch, the Archie's ground. Given the, Archie's given the advice to not whistleblow, but I think you're going forward with whistleblowing against NASA for faking the moon landing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I still have a few problems with having a big mouth, and so, yeah, I am... I am still whistleblowing. But Archie told people not to whistleblow. That's your advice, right, Archie? No whistleblowing. No, don't, don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Put your head. Just, 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 just. Don't, don't ever do it. Don't, 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 don't go there. Don't go there. No point. No point. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Hear no evil. See no evil. That's it. I will. I will say no this. Evil. Speak no evil. Hear no evil. See no evil. That's it. Most, most whistleblowers, they only do it one time. I'm burnt out. Doc, I'm burnt out. You know the truth? I'm fucking burnt out. I've aged. I put on weight. <laughs> My eyesight's going because of the stress. <laughs> usually usually people only have one whistleblow in them, you know, the one big one anyway. And, and yeah, I mean, it, it really does exhaust one. Yeah, it's whole. just not worth the drama. They're fucking vengeful. Even when you have attorneys at the very beginning that are working with you pro bono or encouraging you to whistleblow. Yes. There's a psychological experience that's never appreciated until you're in the middle of it. Well, unless you want to live in the Ecuadorian embassy or, or have Russia give you citizenship. 
and the two cases of the two whistleblowers that um, the two most famous ones out there. And Jay that's and a Tom perfect and, example. And, and, and Snowden, right? Like Those are perfect examples because neither one of those two whistleblowers expected that they would be living where they are now. Yeah. Yeah. They, they had a completely different plan and it didn't work. Well, Archie has the back of plan of, of living in Patia, so. I might still have to do that. Don't, don't, don't think they, ha they will not seek revenge. Don't, don't think they won't come after me. I, I mean, fuck me dead. Let's just say you're on their shit list. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly right. And, and they never erase anyone from that list. They, they might draw a line through you, but they don't erase it. So BBW, what do you think of this 861 uh, moon watch? Is it a collectible watch? Is it not a collectible watch? Is it something worth buying? What do you think? Well, as you know, because I have one, um, I think it will become collectible. I don't think it's currently collectible with the exception of the transitional, because that transitional, the one I have, uh, was made for less than a year. It still has a three, two, one type dial in it. Um, and they're hard to find. They really are hard to find. So this is your, your blue sub, isn't it? Your no, purple. Speedmaster. Speedmaster. No, oh, talk speed, sorry. Talking about the man on the way uh, to yeah. the, uh, to the moon sound stage. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. uh, uh, I I always find that hilarious that Doc, as as a doubter, has bought the Moon Watch. <laughs> it's a wonderful watch, though. I, uh, but Doc, you know something? The yes, longer sir. the longer I uh, I see how bad things are, the more I believe you. I slowly make you know, believers of everyone uh, if they listen long enough. The only, yeah. the, you know, I the think I think they definitely went to space. I think they definitely went into into this. You know, the, a, a low Earth orbit. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think I think they definitely did. Okay, that's that's not to be uh, questioned there, but I, I think you're right. They 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 um they can't go there now. You know this, don't you? They're working, they have an official NASA project called the Orion Project that's working on leaving low Earth orbit for potentially going to the moon, Mars, or other places. Doc, you know what, based on your avatar right now, what comes up when you're talking, I think you might be on the lunar surface right now because all I can see is green cheese. <laughs> I'm a green screen and uh, I can be whatever you want. Oh, what are you eating there, Mark? <laughs> what are you eating there? Well, I'm sorry, but I was, um, it's a power bar. Oh, power bar, cool. I want to show you a watch. I'm going to hold a phone. I'm going to hold my phone up. Sure, 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 sure. My client came in today to pick up his dog, mm -hmm. and uh, he was wearing this Navi timer. So can you get a look at that? I want to say it was uh, yeah. 40 millimeters, maybe 41. Yeah, no 42. Yeah, go on. And it's kind of an older one. He's had it for a long time. Yeah, it's got the it's got the uh, seven seven five zero movement in it. Yeah. Yes. So, so it's not especially expensive or collectible. He was Actually, just it's completely unwanted. I don't know what it is. I got to be honest with you. The uh, the non B zero one. I don't know why because I don't see what's wrong with it. It's very very very. You can't give them away at the moment. That will change. They're they're an amazing. They're they're a great watch. I I think they're a cool watch. Everyone wants the B zero. Even the B zero one is very soft. Breitling is incredibly yeah. That's what I was going to say. I think it's hard to itself. sell. Mm -hmm. I think it's Breitling itself that's causing the problem. And these fucking investment bankers who bought it haven't really helped. You know they 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 brought out a line. Everything's called Navi Timer. They're trying to copy Tudor. Should I buy a Panerai? No. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Why? No, 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 don't say that. You can buy. Okay, Neo, $10 super chat. Okay, Arch, excuses are over. It's time for you to climb back on top of the YouTube watch mountain. Thank you, Neo. Look, you can buy a Panerai if you don't intend to sell it again and you buy it cheap to start with. 
Okay? Well, that's the problem. You can't find them fucking cheap. <laughs> the Japaners See, don't want to sell them cheap, man. These guys. Yes. Yeah, you hit it on the head. You hit it, that's, that's exactly the problem. You go to a dealer, they'll fucking, they'll fucking stick, rip you a new one. But um, it's... Uh, it's just fucking. It's just a. It's just a disaster because you can't really get them cheap. And when you got one, nobody. You, they're unsellable. I mean, seriously. Even when I make a video on Panerai, they're fucking unpopular. Okay, do, do you understand? They just. David Hill, ten dollars super chat. Archie, congratulations. Two piece combo meal deal face off. Uh, sea Dweller four four K. That's the um, the forty mil one. An Explorer 2 Polar M serial number versus Batman and Hulk. Mm, it's actually a tough one. Wow. He's got Ooh. the 31, he's got the one, the 38186 movement in that polar. Ooh, definitely. Definitely. If you've got the 3186 in Explorer 2, that's, that's the last of the last of the polars, <laughs> really. Before I went 42 mil. Well, they still do polar, but it's 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 a 42 mil. Last of, I'd have to say SD. I'd have to go. Um, I'm going Hulk. Sea Dweller 4000 and the uh, Explorer 2. I've got to go that way. Okay, three of I'm us going Batman and Hulk. Hulk. You're betting I'm going Hulk. Batman and Hulk every time. Me too. Because the value is there now. Especially the Hulk. I'm wearing the Hulk today, boys. The Hulk is a great keep, watch. I keep sending the pictures to Mark in our group chat to bait him. Um, well, I I wonder if I need a Hulk. Mm. I keep sending him to him, like, Mark, I'm wearing my Hulk. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Mark doesn't respond. No, I do wonder if I need a Hulk. I'm kind of surprised, Mark, that you, you, a Hulk would be what I would think you'd like. It's nice and big. Yeah. It's, well, like it's, it's got BBW, the green. BBW, BBW, you got a super chat here for you from John Gulp, five bucks. Doc, buying the Moonwatch is like AC3 buying a GLC Ultra Sim. <laughs> you know what? Archie, Archie did take me a second. He's uh, for pussy, uh, so. Yes, yes, yes. The the Hulk is only forty millimeters. I'm wearing a forty-three millimeter monster right now. Ooh. So, but it's, it's so well done. It's so well done. You know what I mean? I do. Guys, we better wrap this up. I want to thank you guys for partaking in, in this show here. It means a lot to me. I'm going to have a bit of recovery. And uh, I want to say thank you so much. And uh, thank you, Tan, for pushing me into doing the show today. Because it's oh, yeah. uh, you're a good guy. You are all good guys. I want to thank you all. And uh, hey, guys, I'll be back Friday in the saddle. And Saturday in the south. So, well, that's Friday it's night, your Friday. time. Friday, Friday night. It's a, it's a celebration. That's when you said you can drink. So, that's yeah. A yeah, we'll have a drink then. Okay. So, guys, thank you so much. And uh, whatever you do, don't whistle blow. It's just not worth it. Here, just, 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 just ignore it. Ignore it. Don't, don't, don't get involved. Let someone else be the hero. Okay, guys. I'm going to cut this one out now. Thank you. Thank